Hey developers, so today we are gonna look at a few concepts. We're gonna look at view three. We're gonna look at V model. We're also gonna see how dot sync worked in view two and how V model worked in view two as well. So this is a neat and nice feature inside view three that allows us to do two way, basically data binding inside components. So we're gonna see how that works. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you guys like view three content, view two content, I have a link to view mastery below. They're helping to, uh, they're a sponsor and affiliate for this video. So if you wanna learn all about view mastery, they have a really cool curriculum, tons of different projects. It's a really cool service. It's basically uh, a really good learning resource for view developers. Click on the link in the description below. Go ahead and sign up for it. And if you do, it actually helps the channel out. Okay, so here is the app that we have right now. And the purpose of this app is to enter some information in here. And basically we have a lion component. And when you click the send it, which right now it doesn't do anything, it'll go into this lion speaks component and it'll display here. Okay, so let's see if we can get it just, if we click this button to send to the lion speaks component. So the easiest way to do that is we're gonna add a speak text, but we also wanna create a lion text. And this is gonna be the text that we send to the lion, which I'll just leave it blank here. And what I wanna do is on this button press, I'm gonna have a click handler here, and I'm gonna have the lion text equal the speak text. And then on this lion speak, I wanna go ahead and pass in the prop that we're gonna use. So in this case, remember this is vbind, but we're gonna put colon here, and we're gonna call it lion text equals lion text. And now we're gonna go into the lion speak component and I'm, I'll go ahead and uh, hide the sidebar here. And we're going to add a new prop. So we're gonna have a props here. It's gonna be just the array. We're gonna have lion text. And this text area is gonna equal this lion text. So I'm gonna do value, oops, colon. We're gonna bind it. Value equals lion text. So let's see if that works. So I'm gonna click the send button, cool. So I went ahead and sent over as we expect. One, two, three, sent over, cool. So it's working as we expect. But what happens if we wanna have this two-way data bound? In other words, I want this text as I type it in to be updating up here to this roar text right here. So uh, one thing we can do is update this text area in our app view. So first thing we wanna do on this uh, button here, actually on this line speak here, is we're gonna add an input. So this can be any name we wanna call it. We're just gonna use input. This is basically the same thing as a V on, the at symbol. So input equals, and then we're gonna have the speak text equals the event. So we're assuming we're gonna get an event from our lion speak and have it equal the speak text. And then in our lion speak, uh, I'm gonna add in a input here. So this is now the input actually on the text area. This is the event for the input on the text area. And we're gonna do a arrow function here that will actually emit the input. And then that'll send over the event.target.value. So what this means is that every time I do any sort of text entering in here, this will emit an input event to event.target.value. So let's see if that works. So I'm here, I'm just refresh it. I'm gonna send it, but if I type here, you can see here now it's being two-way data bound. There's no errors in the console, it's working fine, which is really neat. Cool. But maybe there's a little bit of easier way of doing this. So instead of putting this lion text equal lion text inputs. This is a lot of text here. Let's try it a different way. So I'm gonna just copy and paste this and instead of doing this lion text speak event, I'm gonna do V model equals and then lion text. Let's do a couple of other things real quick here. You may have noticed I was actually um, having the speak text equal the event and not the lion text. So when we use a V model, it assumes that we're just using lion text and not speak text. So we can fix this real quickly. We're gonna add a watcher 
And this watcher is gonna look on the line text and whenever the line text change, it's gonna have it equal to the speak text. So I'm gonna do this.speak text equals this.line text. So that should fix that. Uh, one other thing we need to do is that by default, when you use vModel in view two, it assumes that the input, that the event is always input and the value, the prop is always value, but we actually have it called lion text here. So to fix that, we actually have to go in here and add a new, uh, something new called model. It's an object and inside the object, we set the prop, which we're gonna call lion text. And we have to set the value, which we know is input, um, which is default too. So if we do that, we should work again. So I'm gonna refresh it. Number one, two, three, I'm sending it. If I type in, you can see here, it's two way data bound as we expect. And it's a little bit simpler I uh, sort of with this V model and this lion text here, um, instead of having to, to put in colon lion text, do the V bind and the V imp and actually do the input binding binding too. It's a little bit cleaner just doing V dash model. So this is nice for V models, but you can only put one on per component. What happens if you needed multiple values you wanted to be two way data bound. So to do that, on review.2.3, they added in dot sync. So the way to do that, you can actually just bind it with lion text, and then you put a dot sync afterwards. And then inside your lion speak, instead of uh, submitting it on input, we would actually uh, submit it like this. We do, it's called update, and then the value that we're updating, in this case, the lion text. So if we do it this way, it should automatically uh, bind for us. So if I come back here, refresh it, one, two, three, sends, and you can still hear, see here it's two-way data bound because now we're using V uh, sync. So this is sort of the best way to do it if you wanna do two-way data binding in your components is just to do this dot sync. And then this update is hard-coded in here. You can't change it, it's just update. By the way, we can get rid of this whole model now. We don't need it any longer. And of course it, still works as you expect it. Um, so that's the way you do it in view two. So either you can manually do the emitting and binding like we did here in this example, or you can use dot sync. But let me show you a third way to do it. And this is how you do it in view three. So to do in view three, we're gonna stop the server and I'm just gonna real quickly add view next and this will come add it um, this will go ahead and convert it to a view three app and i'm gonna go ahead and before that i'm going to just comment this out and so we'll just give this a second okay so our app is now upgraded to view three so we should be able to start using some of the features now first thing you'll notice if you actually go to liontext.sync and save it now i already have the server up and running if I refresh this, I get this error that dot sync modifier and vbind is directive is deprecated. So we no longer use it. Now they want us to use vmodel colon prop name. So that should be pretty easy. So I'm gonna comment this out. I'm gonna copy and paste that. And I'm gonna use vmodel and then uh, the name of it, lion text. I'm gonna save it. And by the way, don't worry about my ESLint error here. And if I save it and I type in roar, it sends it and it's do, still two way data bound as it was before. And it's kind of like dot sync, it still uses this update. So this is still the way you do it inside view three. Um, so you just emit it the same way, but it's nicer because now we can use V model lion text or we can use V model again. So we can use it multiple times on this one component. So before in view two, we can only use it once. And after that, we had to do the binding with the dot sync. And now it's a little simpler because we could just use V dash model and then make sure that we have the hard coded this update in colon and then the name of what we're trying to update. And that works every time. So that's how v, that's how V model works in view three. It's a little complicated at first, but you'll find out if you need to do that two way data binding between your parent and child component, it works great. As you can see here, it works well. I'll make sure I upload this to GitHub too, so you guys can kind of take a look at the example and how I'm doing it. So thanks again for watching. And by the way, once again, check out View Mastery. Use the link I have in the description below and sign up for them. I really appreciate it. Thanks.